Bonus. We are here, yet, yet I do not feel the effect of the King of Shadows as I thought. The Ilfarn must have known to blunt the darkness outside. Know that this gives me new resolve. It means that it's more likely than ever that the ritual of purification can be used to unmake the King of Shadows. The ritual, perhaps. You, not at all. This place is still. Even the air hesitates in its crawl. Where the blade was shattered, the land will be marked. That is where we must go if we are to make the Blade of Gith as it was. The Blade of Gith is not simply a thing of pieces. When you bring the shards together, your will is what makes it complete, nothing else. I can guide you. Help focus you, Kalakcha. But the way will not be easy, and the dangers will not be physical ones. The reasons are twinned. The scar on the land, your village, still holds some of the blade's strength. But the scar also lies within the domain of the King of Shadows. In remaking the blade in such a place, you give the Sword of Gith a taste of our enemy. And once Gith's blade has tasted the essence of a foe, it never rests until its enemy lays dead before its master. Make your path mine. Stay close and step where I step. Make your path mine.
Yes. Perhaps so. We are here. This is the place I can feel it. The scar runs deep. This is where I struck at the King of Shadows. And the blade, it shattered. It is here that we must mend the blade anew and close the wound. Yet without your presence and focus, this is but a place. Is your will here? Your mind must be focused, clear. Your thoughts, your heart, will be the furnace upon which the blade may flow. Very well. Sit with me. Listen to my voice. Grasp the hilt and close your eyes. Hear not just my words, but the meaning behind them. Zerthamon's will, my will, your will. Let us all be as one. In this place, broken upon shadow, carved deep in earth, what once was sundered from two peoples born, make all that was scattered whole again by the heart that guides the will, by the will that guides the hand, and the hand that guides the blade. and the hand that guides the blade. It was your will that reformed the blade. I merely walked with you. Only for you will the sword live. No longer do you carry the heart of the sword. Truly, now, you are its heart. But enough of... Wait, something comes. How does it feel to be back home, Shardbearer? Is that the famed blade? It looks so fragile and little use without you to hold it together. I think you will find its edge more than a match for shadow and mere words. Will you test it, Thrall of Shadows? My master does not fear a poorly forged blade, nor a poorly forged hero. Yes, though such gains are trivial to one as powerful as my master. Almost as trivial as that precious sword of yours, in fact. Stall the Reaver while I recite its true name. Together, we can break this creature. I brought some friends to help you with the recitation. You may recognize them. After all, they once lived in West Harbor. Be careful. 
The poisonous shadow of this land clings to this reaver. We must hurry. Done. We must leave. We cannot remain here within the claimed lands any longer. Shadows hide many truths, even from themselves. It will be enough, and you have proved it this day. You are our weapon against the coming darkness. And now the sword reflects that path. Know that you have traveled far, Kalakcha, and soon the King of Shadows will be upon us. Their power grows as the claimed lands grow. They'll learn from this death and try to take measures in the future. We need to find the rest and destroy them quickly before they realize what has happened. Know that time was their ally before, but with the blade reforged, they will be forced to act more quickly than they thought and fight more desperately than before. Then our path waits. My steel will strike true. Strike swiftly. Stay close and step where I step.
I've dispatched your minions, fiend. You're alone. Face me! You will die like all those in Highcliff. But I shall not soil myself with your blood. What foul magic is this? Captain, you must know that Highcliff has fallen. Tell Naval, we can't- Ah, uh, Nasher! I failed! You, my prey, was the cowards who fled the conquest of Highcliff. But you are an unexpected prize. The King of Shadows will reward me greatly for bringing your lifeless husk before him in the Vale. Keep it occupied while I recite the name. It will take some time to recite it, so keep him at bay until I am finished. Yes. I arrived too late to help you, and Callum as well it seems. This war has cost us much, and it is not yet over. You are right, Captain. It is a difficult thing to lose such a friend, but your words make the burden easier. But why was Callum here? He was tasked with holding Highcliff. A reaver falls, and so does Highcliff. It seems no matter what our victories, the King of Shadows' influence grows. I must bear this news to Lord Nasher. We will need to ready the Neverwinter forces to march on Highcliff. But before we commit our soldiers, Crossroad Keep must be prepared. Make whatever preparation you need at your keep. Then speak to me when all is ready for the army to march on Highcliff. It seems the Shadow Reaver has granted us a boon. With its death, we have the tome it held, the tome of Iltkazar. This may hold the key to reaching the King of Shadows, but I think we should consult Aldenon in Crossroad Keep to be certain.
The war gets closer to home every day. Some local lords are conscripting farmers to serve in the war. That is exactly the reason why the Grey Cloaks were formed. Reliance on an untrained militia was part of the reason the Luskins overwhelmed us with ease. The King of Shadows has amassed a great army. I think the lords believe that they need every available hand to counter this threat. The Grey Cloaks and Knights may not be enough alone. Untrained farmers are generally used as shock troops. Casualties are high, and their effectiveness debatable. Do you wish to conscript troops from the farmers? We've been fairly indiscriminate in who we recruit, but I'm sure there are many able-bodied men and women that will help. We will start training them as best as we're able. If the war comes to us, I'll make them as ready as I can. Some way I can help? Oh my word! When we get back home, I'll experiment with this and see what can be done. 